The Indian National Movement Phases, an Overview. 1. Early Nationalism and Reform Movements, 19th Century. Raja Ram Mohan Roy and Socio-Religious Reform. Raja Ram Mohan Roy founded the Brahmo Samaj in 1828, advocating for social reforms such as the abolition of sati and promoting education for women. The Indian Rebellion of 1857. Although primarily a revolt against British rule, the rebellion served as an early manifestation of Indian nationalism, with leaders like Rani Lakshmabai of Jansi and Mangal Pandey symbolizing resistance against colonial oppression. 2. Moderate phase. Late 19th to early 20th century. Indian National Congress, Inc., formation. The Inc. was founded in 1885, initially comprising moderate leaders like Dadabhai Nauroji and Gopal Krishna Gokhale, who advocated for reforms within the British system. The Drain Theory. Dadabhai Nauroji's articulation of the Drain Theory highlighted the economic exploitation of India by the British, emphasizing the need for self-rule. Partition of Bengal, 1905. The British decision to partition Bengal ignited widespread protests and marked the beginning of mass mobilization in the nationalist movement. Swadeshi movement, led by leaders like Surendranath Banerjee and Aurobindo Ghosh, encouraged boycott of British goods and promoted indigenous industries. 3. Extremist phase, early 20th century. The partition of Bengal in 1905 ignited widespread protests and marked the beginning of the Swadeshi movement, with leaders like Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Bipin Chandra Pal, and Lala Lajpat Rai advocating for militant nationalism and mass mobilization. The period witnessed the rise of extremist leaders who advocated for swaraj or self-rule, popularized the concept of boycott of British goods, and emphasized cultural revivalism. Formation of the All India Muslim League The All India Muslim League, founded in 1906, emerged as a separate platform for Muslim political representation, with leaders like Muhammad Ali Jinnah advocating for Muslim rights. Surat Split, 1907. The split within the Indian National Congress between moderates and extremists, led by leaders like Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Bipin Chandra Pal, over ideological differences regarding the methods of agitation and demands for self-rule. Home Rule Movement. Annie Besant and Bal Gangadhar Tilak led the Home Rule Movement in 1916, demanding self-governance within the British Empire. It aimed to garner support for home rule through mass mobilization and propaganda. 4. Gandhian era, 1920s 1940s. Non cooperation movement, 1921 Mahatma Gandhi launched the non cooperation movement, calling for non violent resistance and boycott of British institutions, leading to widespread participation across India. Civil disobedience movement, 1930 1934. Gandhi's Salt March of 1930, protesting against the British salt tax galvanized the masses and led to widespread civil disobedience against colonial laws. Quit India Movement, 1942, the Quit India Movement, launched by Gandhi in 1942, demanded an end to British rule in India. Despite facing severe repression, it showcased the widespread sentiment for independence. 5. Partition and Independence, 1947. Mountbatten Plan and Partition, the British decision to partition India and the subsequent violence during the partition led to the creation of India and Pakistan as independent nations in 1947. Constitutional Framing The Constituent Assembly, chaired by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, drafted the Indian Constitution, which came into effect on January 26, 1950, marking India's transition to a democratic republic. 6. Role of Women and Other Leaders Women played a significant role in the freedom struggle, with leaders like Sarojini Naidu, Annie Besant, and Kamala Devi Chattopadhyay actively participating in various movements and advocating for women's rights. Other prominent leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Subhas Chandra Bose, and Bhagat Singh played pivotal roles in the freedom struggle, inspiring and mobilizing the masses through their leadership and sacrifices. Conclusion The Indian National Movement laid the foundation for India's independence and shaped the country's socio-political landscape. Leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and Sardar Patel became iconic figures, revered for their role in securing India's freedom through non-violent means. The Indian freedom struggle left a lasting legacy of unity, resilience, and sacrifice, shaping the socio-political fabric of modern India. It inspired liberation movements across the world and reaffirmed the principles of democracy, secularism, and pluralism in independent India's constitution. 
The leaders and ideals of the freedom struggle continue to inspire generations of Indians, serving as a beacon of hope and inspiration for the pursuit of justice, equality, and freedom.